Yo, what is up guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for our next subscriber set live. Ah, it's been a little while. It's been a little while since I've actually done these uh, these subscriber set series episodes. Uh, I think the last time was before I went on vacation, if I uh, do recall. But I wanted to get back into it because I did remember seeing a lot of cool suggestions by you guys. And I wanted to go ahead and uh, capitalize on that, as my boy uh, Miguel would say. <laughs> um, so you're, you're probably looking at the team right now. And you're you're wondering, or you see that you see that whaler there. Your jaws dropped. You see, what is this monstrosity? What did Envy bring this time? I'm about to show you. Let's hop into that team builder and check it out. So first Pokemon we got here. D -d -d they call me the king. We got Nidoking, King, my boy Nidoking King here with that life orb sheer force, packing all those coverage moves. About to destroy some teams. Uh, it's the next best thing from Lando Eye. Uh, if you do re recall, Lando Eye did get banned. It had it had the same life orb sheer force with uh, a lot of good moves. So. I thought uh, Nido King would be a good suggestion uh, to use for this live. So next up, we got here Mega Sceptile, our next suggestion. Now, the, the, I think the comments said either use SD Mega Sceptile or a mixed set. I opted for a mixed set because I do like that Earthquake and HP Fire coverage to hit those Heatrans and Ferrothorns that are, uh, I guess, sort of switch-ins for this thing or that would try to switch in on it. So I like those coverage moves a lot, so I thought I'd use this set. Uh, it does also pair well with Nidoking because Mega Sceptile hates those fairy Pokemon and Nidoking here is attacking that sludge wave to knock him out. So that's going to be that. Next up, all right, here's the Pokemon here. This this is a monstrosity, Waylord. Ah, not bad. I mean, yeah, actually, it is pretty bad, but you know. <laughs> Uh, the comment did say to use a Scarf Waylord with Water Spout. I wanted to use that because I thought it'd be pretty fun for you guys as well as for me to see this this whale of a Pokemon at OU. <laughs> it's a whale of a lord. Um, do have some nice coverage moves here, which is Zen Headbutt. It does about maybe 30 to 40 percent to kill you. <laughs> Ice Beam here, which uh, which is good because it does it does knock out Lando T, uh, which is nice. I think it does like about 90 some percent to Rocky Helmet Chomp. Um, and that's gonna be yeah, uh, uh, self destruct here, because <laughs> self destructs. I thought it'd be. I thought I wanted. I wanted a fun Waylord set, uh, fun scarf Waylord set. So I thought self destruct would be the best, uh, the best option for that last move slot here. So that's gonna be Waylord. Uh, let's move on. Uh, so yeah, so those are the three suggestions for this team. Hope you guys uh, appreciate them or enjoy them. Um, and then I added a Talonflame here, which is nice because it does pair well with Mega Sceptile offensively since uh, Talonflame hates uh, Bulky Waters, Rotom Wash, Rhyperior, and stuff like that, which Mega Sceptile, of course, I'm a boy, deals with. And um, yeah, then I added a Jirachi here just to switch in on those Drop a Dracos and those uh, Fairy moves. Uh, nice resistant to both of those moves respectively and uh, it does help me set up rocks here which is nice and finally <laughs> an Avalug here which is a great I, I love Avalug I mean it's, it's definitely not a bad Pokemon it is a really good physical sponge um, and it does rapid spin which is nice and recover which is cool too and it pretty much takes every physical hit in the game like like Flare Bliss from Italian Flame I remember switching in on it it did like 40 some percent that's it's crazy crazy defense but uh that's gonna be the team and uh let's go ahead and hop into the live so here we go let's just hop into it i'll pause it so we get it and i'll be right back all right and we got one versus a uh, very uh very offensive team actually i mean bar the hippo of course <laughs> i'm actually gonna lead off here i think with the um with the uh i'm gonna lead off with waylord here yeah i'm gonna lead off with my boy waylord he's gonna lead off with manectric let's just uh let's go for that water spout here See how much this does. As he does switch out into Togekiss here, let's see how much this does. Um, 40. <laughs> Did nothing. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna actually go into my Nido King here. Um, predi uh, predicting some sort of T wave, maybe. As he's just gonna go right for the air slash, that's fine. I mean, not a problem. Um,. Let's think. I'm gonna go for the uh, for the Earth Power, predicting the uh, Jirachi to come in. As he does bring a Jirachi, nice. I did make that prediction really well, and uh, that's really good. Uh, that's very good for me. Um, he's gonna bring in Kieran Black here now. Um, he might be faster. I think I'm just gonna go right into my Jirachi because it is a decent switch in on this thing that I have for on on this team. As he goes for the sub, that is fine. I can just go for the Iron Head here, and uh, he goes for the Earth Power. That's fine. Not a problem. I can go for the U-turn here on this uh, obvious switch out. As uh, he just subs again. All right. Well, 
Um, hmm. Okay. That is fine. I will go into my... Um, I'll go into my talent lane here. So he's, yeah, he's probably already packing the uh, fusion bolt. Go right back into... Uh, I'm gonna go to Avalog first. He goes to the dra oh, he's Dragon Claw. All right, so he's Dragon Claw, Earth Power. Okay, that's nice. Good to know. I'm gonna go for the Avalanche here. Earth Power does 44. Um, he's probably gonna just sub again. I'll just go right back into Jirachi. As he subs, okay. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. He's probably like sub roost or something. Which uh, I haven't seen too often lately. And uh, now I'm just gonna sub again. Oh, sorry, not sub again. Iron Head again. As he he does switch out this time. Okay. Uh, now I can just U-turn here. And I can go into my Waylord, I believe. As he goes for the rocks. Okay. Now I can Water Spout here. And Water Spout, I believe it should 2 hit KO this Togekiss on, uh, upon switching. And it should 2 hit KO Kiram. So this Water Spout is going to put it in range, yep, of uh, 2 hit KO. So that is gone. <laughs> that is gone. That's crazy. Wailer actually putting in work. Who figured? Alright, anyways. He's going to probably bring in his, uh, his Kiram here. Yeah, he does bring in Kiram. Alright. Fair enough. Um, I'm actually just going to stay in and water spout. No reason not to. As it does put him in a range where he cannot sub. Um, but then I cannot kill him now. So uh, Go to my Avalog here, actually. As he just Dragon Claws again. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Um, now I can go to my Sceptile here. Hit him up with that Mega Evolution Dragon Pulse. And, uh, should do a lot of damage. To what I, even if he switches that, but I'm pretty sure he's just gonna sack this, because there's no reason for him to keep it, uh, to keep it anymore. He does switch out, though, uh, surprisingly. I'll just go for another Dragon Pulse here. I mean, getting rid of that Hippo means, um, I win with... Well, I mean, I gotta get rid of this first. Let's go for that Leaf Storm, see how much it does. Alright. Gone. <laughs> Gone. That is amazing. Ah, not bad. Alright, Alakazam is back. Let's go ahead into our Jirachi here. Because uh, we don't need it anymore, I think. Pretty much Talonflame wins now. He is going to uh, Psy Shock here, and that uh, does nothing. So I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm, gonna, no, I'm, not, I'm gonna go for the. No, stop. All right, it's fine. Uh, we can just go Talon Flame here, and just the acrobatics. As uh, we do pull off this win, not bad. And Whaler did get a kill, so that's really what I wanted to see. And uh, yep, next is Kieran Black, which comes in. I can just go for the acrobatics, knock that out. A, hey, let's go find another battle. Let me type GG real quick. GG. All right, let's go find another battle. All right. Right, I'll pause until we get one, so I'll be right back. Alright, and we got one uh, versus a, uh, another offensive team. Loving to, uh, loving to see these offensive teams, uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is actually lead off with um, with the uh, with the Waylord, actually. Yeah, why not? I don't see a reason why not. We, why shouldn't we? I mean, he might lead off with Chomp, but I'm thinking he's going to lead off with Low Bunny to get that fake out on something. Um, which, in which case, I could just go to my uh, Avalug. Just gonna start a timer. Alright, so we bring in Waylord, he brings in Low Bunny, that's good. I can go into my Avalug here, which I'm pretty sure he's not gonna just high jump kick right now. Um, he does go for the fake out. Alright, cool. As uh, what I can do now is actually just go for the uh, Avalanche here. I mean, he might just high jump kick, but. Or he power punches. Alright, and, th and this thing, let's see how much this takes actually. Ooh, 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 almost gone, almost. Oh man, alright. Well, I want to keep this especially for the, um, for the Garchomp, so. 
really don't have another switch out though. Ah, uh, all right. Um. Yeah, there's no reason. I, I don't have another switch out. He goes for high jump kick, knocks me out. So we do exchange kills there. Um, I'm gonna go into my septile here because uh, it does outspeed the rest of his team. Unless he has like a choice scarf Pokemon, or I mean his Alakazam might speed tie. As he brings in Starmie, uh, we are faster, so we could actually just go ahead and um, HP Fire predicting the Scizor to come in. As he stays in, come on. He Reflect types too, so I can just Dragon Pulse. Alright bro, that's good. We might switch to Scizor now. Yeah, he does. All right. Um, he's gonna probably bullet punch here, so I'm going to actually just switch into my into my Jirachi. As he does bullet punch like I expected, I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn out here because uh, he's not gonna stay in. Yep, he goes into his guard chomp here. I can go right back into my Sceptile, hit him up with that Dragon Pulse here, and uh, do some more damage. On whatever he brings in. Yeah, that's his or um I just gotta make a good play and see if we can knock it out. He's gonna bring in Starmie though, uh, which is of course going to get two KO'd. So that's going down. All right, all right. He's gonna bring in Scizor for sure because that's the only thing he can. And uh, yeah, he does bring in Scizor. I'm gonna go for HP Fire this time. Um, yep, and we. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Alright, awesome. He's gonna bring in Kieran Black here. I'm not sure if he's scarfed or not. Do I want to risk it? Uh, I mean, at this point in time, I, there's no reason not to. He is uh, scarfed, indeed. Um, so I'm going to actually just go into my... Uh, I'm gonna go into my uh, Jirachi here. And uh, I'm actually not gonna U-turn because of his Rocky or his Rocky Helmet Chomp. I'm actually just going to double into my Waylord, and uh, he is in range of an Ice Beam, I think. So I'm actually gonna go for it right now. As we, we're not. That's crazy. That's probably a min roll. I swear. <laughs> Either, but, that, but that's all good. I think we win anyways with that Jirachi and uh, Talonflame combination. Even with the rocks, it's fine. But Waylord, you gotta you gotta step up your Ice Beam, bro. I'm gonna go for that Ice Beam here. Just uh, do some damage at least. But he's gonna probably knock us out anyways. Actually, there's no reason for me not to just sack Nidoking because it's uh, useless at this point. I, I might potentially be able to live some some kind of move and then go for a uh, a self destruct on something. I'll, uh, I'll pause until he oh never mind. I was gonna pause until he makes the move, but uh, we switch out and he sidekicks here, so I can now just go into. Uh, Go to Talonflame here, and then uh, I could probably could probably uh, acrobatics here as he goes into Kirim. All right, all right. That did nothing. That literally did nothing. It's crazy. All right. Um, I gotta switch here. As he fusion bolts knocks me out. Go to my Jirachi and uh, 
I might be able to live one, actually. I'll go for the body slam here. Hopefully get a paralysis. As he switches out into Alakazam. Do we get that paralysis? We do. Alright, that's very good. Very crucial. Um, we can knock this Alakazam out. And he brings in Kiram here, so we, we, we got to... Uh, let's see. What do we got to do? So I do live another switch in with Talonflame. Um... I think Iron Head's my best play. What did uh, what did Acrobatics at 25? So we need at least 50% on Iron Head. Um, gonna go for that Iron Head here, as he fusion bolts. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's a roll. That's a roll now. I couldn't risk not getting the paralysis here, but uh, it all comes down to this Acrobatics roll. Um, As we do, yep, we got him. We got him. Nice. Ah, oh, not bad. That was a good game. Very good game. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, find another battle here, and I'll pause until we get one. So I'll be right back. All right, and we got one uh, versus another. Uh, well, it is pretty offensive looking at it. I guess it's more bulky offensive than anything. Uh, I guess uh, he's running probably Rock's Chomp and uh, Scarf Lando. Defensive uh, or Defog Skarmory, especially since he has a uh, Volcarona on his team. Oh, wait, wait, he has a spinner. Um, probably Spike Stacking then, uh, with Rocks and Spikes both. I think I'm going to actually just lead off with the, uh, let's see. I'll lead off with the Nidoking here, actually, as he is going to lead off with the Volcarona. That's fine. Um, I can just uh, go into my Talent Flame here. No reason not to. Because I am Spideff Talonflame, so I should be able to eat up anything this uh, this Volcarona does. Unless he's packing HP Rock, which I doubt because uh, looking at his team, I feel like he's going to pack like HP uh, or Giga Drain or something. Or... But I can only hope. Uh, he's going to switch though into Lando. As what I can do is just go right into my Avalug here. He's probably Scarf. Um, he left though. <laughs> Wait, huh? What? <laughs> Alright, well... Um... I'll pause and see if he comes back, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. So one second, guys. All right, so I don't think he's coming back. I guess the Waylord really was too much for him. That's uh, that's crazy. It's crazy, the Waylord. All right, well, we won this battle, so let's go ahead and find another one. And uh, we do get one right off the bat. And uh, all right, cool, cool. Um, I think what I want to do is actually lead off here with the... Yo, he's, running a, he's running a pretty fat team, I'll be honest. Um, so maybe I could just lead off with... Waylord or Nidoking, either one should be fine. I think I'll lead off with Nidoking here because uh, it does do well versus Ferrothorn. Oh, well, he leads off a Starmie, so that's good for him. Uh, well, I wanted to lead off with Nidoking because it was good versus Clef in case he led with that. Um, Pharaoh as, as well, so I gotta switch out now. Um, into what though? Uh, I feel like he's just a regular Scald Storm. He's not packing any Ice Beam or anything. So I'm just going to go into Septile as he does go for the Scald. And uh, now what I can do is actually Mega Evolve. Or actually I could double. I could easily just double out into um, into Nidoking here predicting him to want to switch. As uh, he is going to go into his Dragonite here which is nice because I can actually just uh, fire off an Ice Beam. As uh, this thing is well, it's going to eat it up pretty nicely. Um, and uh, I can go for another one, I think. As uh, E Speed does not knock me out. Because he's running, uh, well, he's probably like a bulkier variant or some kind. Um, Alright, so he's gonna bring back Starmie in here. Uh, I think what I wanna do is actually just go into my Sceptile. As uh, he is going to go for the Side Shock here, does a lot more damage than that's called. I can Mega Evolve, go for the Leaf Storm now. And then, uh, he might switch. As he goes into Clefable here. Okay, that's fine. Um, ooh, good damage, good damage. Uh, he will definitely probably live. I mean, he could be unaware. He, If he's unaware, then this thing is going to kill him. Um, he's not unaware there, okay. But uh, we do weaken this Clefable enough for uh, Nidoking to come back in here. And uh, we could just fire off a uh, Sludge Wave, I think. Yep, knock it out. Awesome. He's going to bring in Starmie now. I can go into my... Probably Jirachi here. As he's going to go for the Scald. 
gets the burn, which is unfortunate. I'm actually just going to go for the U-turn. And uh, I could go out into my to my talent flame here, predict him to want to switch out and actually just go for the uh, Wisp, but he stay ends up staying in. I, yeah, I hit that Scald really well, though. That's really good. Um, go for the Roost here as he brings in Charizard. Uh, I'm not sure what's that easy. It could be Zard X. I'm going to go into my uh, Avalug here as he is Zard X. Okay. Goes for the Dragon Clash. <laughs> that did nothing. That did zero. Ah, that's crazy. All right. Um, gonna Earthquake here. As he goes for the Wisp, it does miss. Awesome. Wisp Zard is annoying though. That's the thing. Um, gonna go into my Waylord here, predicting the burn uh, to come. As he goes for the Wisp. Nice. Good prediction on my part. A. Hey. And now I can just Water Spout here. Literally did nothing, but uh, that's fine. I can just um. I'm gonna just water spout again. As he doubles into Chuck. <laughs> gone. Ah. That Zard is gone. Alright, not bad. <laughs> That's crazy. How do I do this? Alright, I'm gonna go into Talon Flame. He goes for the Leech Seed. As, um, I think what I can do is actually just go for the Wisp here. Burn it. Not bad. And now I can just, um, I could, uh, go into Avalok here. As he goes into Starmie. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Um, right, what can I do here? I could probably, I could probably go to Rachi. I mean, I don't need it for much else. And I could proceed to going for the U-turn. As he recovers. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, I can go to Talonflame here. Fire off an Acrobatics. That did nothing. And uh, Roost here, hopefully I can get that. Nice. Um, hmm. Roost again. I need to weaken this thing a lot. I really do. As he scalds here. Okay, cool, cool. Um, let's think. If I go to Waylord here, what could I do? Uh, if I self-destruct, that'd be really good. If he stays in, though, I hope he does. We're faster, too, and we knock it out. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. Amazing. All right. Um, and now he's left with a burn Ferrothorn and a hit Powdon, which I do got to play around smartly. So I'm going to go to my Nidoking King here as he goes into Ferrothorn. This thing is not taking a flamethrower. Uh, yeah, gone. Not bad. Oh, man. Waylord coming through. We are faster because he is, of course, bulky. Uh, he is a bulkier variant. So I'm going to go here for the Ice Beam. We don't knock it out, though, which is unfortunate, but he's going to be able to go for the Earthquake here. As what we can do is just go into this uh into this Avalug here. He goes for the slack off. I mean It's kinda gonna be a stall war since Yeah. It is gonna be sort of a stall war. I mean he can't touch me at all or anything. As, uh, well, I probably should have just avalanche there. And I do have more PP just because I do have the rapid spin on deck, so. I mean, I'll pause and see what. I'll, I'll just pause and. I'll, uh, unpause when we, uh, when we get through this. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, and we finally, we finally finished that game. Oh man, that was crazy. This guy was actually still going at it. <laughs> he has um, 10 left of Earthquake, right? He's got eight Slack Offs and 24 Stealth Rocks. And my Pokemon, I got 52 Rapid Spins. That pretty much wins. And he just wanted to play it. <laughs> That's crazy. And he, he was he was pretty high, uh, pretty high on the ladder, as well. Um, 
All right. Um, I like this team. I like this team a lot, actually. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the subscriber set live. And yeah, go ahead and leave me a suggestion of what you guys want to see for the next one. We'll definitely take them into consideration because, of course, I do read every comment. I do try out every or mostly every combination of Pokemon uh, to see if I can make the best team. So yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, leave me a suggestion and I'll hopefully end up using yours. If I have not used yours yet, don't worry about it because I will, uh, I will definitely take them into consideration and uh, <laughs> and try them out. Um, see, ya, see how they do. But yeah, of course, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this live. I just said that, but you know, I want to make sure you guys really enjoyed it. So, <laughs> Whaler did put in work. That's that's crazy. It did actually get some kills, and I was actually surprised about that. I feel like Nidoking did put in the most work, though, so I might put in for the thumbnail. Love love my boy Nidoking, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys.